All right, we made it through another work week. It's the weekend. And that means it's time for us to go out and have some fun. Today we're going to go into South Boston and do a chocolate tour. Not just any chocolate tour, it is the day before Easter we're doing a chocolate bunny tour. That's right. So come join us and let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hippity hoppity Easter is on its way. Here comes Donna Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. <laughs> Okay, we have done a chocolate tour before in Boston, but we did a Back Bay chocolate tour. So this is our first one doing in Southie. This is, so this is actually the chocolate bunny trail tour awesome. we're going on. So, um, so to be on theme, um, this will make it easier for you to find me as we go. Yes. So, um, but first thing we're gonna do is pass out just some goodie bags that everyone gets on all the tours. I love goodies. So one of these is hidden on the tour. Just one. And the first person to find it will get, we have a little bonus Easter basket, bunny, golden bunny, um, chocolate treat. It is hidden inside a place. If you see it, don't run and push other people out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, family, always family. Um, what you will should do is raise your hand, say I spotted it, I see it, I, the egg, I whatever, and I'll I'll point to you and say, okay, where is it? And you can then walk to me, walk to it, and show me where it is. And you know, obviously, if it's there, and we all <laughs> verify, you will be the winner of the prize. These are um, called the chocolate orgasm. So yeah, starting things with a bang. Like one, another, step right up. Um, so Code 10, where I got these from, they use real cream, real butter, real sugar, real eggs, real chocolate, and everything they do. That's good. We're off. I wish I brought my rabbit ears. I know. It's a missed what? opportunity. Yes, it was. So has anyone heard of flour before? Wasn't that like Bambi's friend? Yes, different kind of flour. The skunk? Flour. You can call me a flower if you want to. Okay. They're a flower version of an Oreo cookie. Yeah, these are Thank fun size. You. Like a moon pie. They look oh like a whoopie pie, but they're definitely a cookie. As you can tell when you bite into it, definitely a cookie, right? I never um, eat Oreos again. <laughs> yes. It's a pretty, it's a pretty serious situation we got here. So the, is this their, like I said, their flower version of an Oreo. So there's a few different. That was great. Right? That was yummy. Sweetheart. At least a hundred a day. Anything you say. And by the way, I want a feast. Look big. Plant-based, so the ice cream that you ate had no dairy in it whatsoever. Um, 
and also the um, brownie in there is gluten free as well. So all of our ice cream is dairy. All of our ice cream is dairy free. Right? So creamy. I know. It's just so. It's this, for example, would be a cinnamon inclusion bar. The reason why these come in a round shape are to kind of throw back to the original chocoholics, the Maya, because this will be, like I said, a different type of chocolate than you, what you've probably ever had before. I don't always do what I'm told. When I do, I find an egg. So the one that we're sampling out today is um, the peanut butter cups. So it's a like a Reese's cup, but, but with dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate, um, topped with a little bit of sea salt, and it's made with Teddy's local peanut butter. So mm -hmm. less sweet, um, but still that really great play you know on about the dark chocolate, chocolate peanut butter duo. So we have a bunch of different chocolate brands, but again, the whole idea is to do clean products, clean chocolate, um, no added preservatives or anything funny like that. Boho is another local chocolate company. Um, they just started, we're their first store in Boston. Taza Chocolate is from Somerville, you guys might know Taza. We just talked about them. Okay. Oh, the cinnamon bar, we just tried that the one. The cinnamon one's yeah. really good. Um, we also have the peanut cocoa, so we're big fans of the Beautiful peanut butter and chocolate combination, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so enjoy looking around. All right, onwards on the Thank honey Thank you. <laughs> this is actually dark chocolate sorbet. So there's no... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, okay, grab a spoon. Thank Look at these beauties. Look at them. Oh my god. So fluffy. And non-dairy? Yeah, this is sorbet. Oh. Crazy. Oh, it's too thick for me. Um, Pico. Pico. From, from, Pico from Pizza and Ice Cream Company. Oh, okay. Get it? That's good. Mm. Get it? I like it. So, they do three things really well. Pizza, beer, and ice cream. I don't know what else you need in life. Pizza and ice cream company. Pizza and ice cream company. P-I-C-C-O. And that's on Tremont Street. Blackbirds. Now, for those of you who've been following us, you know we've stopped at a Blackbird before. Mm -hmm. The one down over near Fenway. Next to Fenway Park. That's yeah. right. I got a little treat for you guys. <laughs> OMG Willikers. If, if you're interested. This should not be a problem. Yeah. This should not be a problem. Good, good. I like to hear that. Boston Come cream? On up. Yes, one for everyone. <laughs> White. Nice. And I have napkins oh, too. We'll need those. Oh, okay. So, let's see how this works. So this is, I think, Boston cream. Boston cream pie is the official state dessert of Massachusetts. It was invented at the Omni Parker House Hotel. These donuts specifically have a little little claim to fame actually a year ago this past October her name is Adele <laughs> you've heard of her yes she's very talented she's, she's gonna make it um, she was in town doing a show at the garden and uh, she has a bit of a sweet tooth and she sent her entourage to pick up some things around town got a box of these and had it brought back to her dressing room and went out on stage that night and told the crowd at the garden that she ate three of those. Oh my, oh my goodness. That's and that great. they were the best donuts she's ever had in her entire life. Cut to 9 a.m. the next day here, yeah. and they were sold out of donuts. Wow, at I bet. Yep. One more stop left. Let's see what we got. And we're off. Here we go. Oh, nice right here. It's probably going to be hot in here again. I'm going to run in and get your, your treat. It's like yummy food. So our, for our last treat for you guys. Oh, thank you. I got I got the minis. Yeah. Don't eat the Anya. Um, grab one. These are okay. double chocolate cupcakes with the Italian buttercream frosting 
and a salt caramel puddle on top. Let's go. Yeah. Let's see how it is. Yeah. Or is she going to save it? You know what? If, if it gets sweat, really soft, too. But also, the market side has your um, uh, prepackaged foods. And also, I don't know if you can see that inside is wicked, the, the wicked case here. They do home style cooking. So you're coming home. So um, my, my lovely chocolate friends, I'm sad to say this is the end of our job. Um, but you guys have been so much fun to hang out with. All in all, thank you guys so much for thank coming. Thank you so much. So we're supporting the small business. Us. Tell your friends um, and um, come back on the back bay tour. I can feed you more chocolate. <laughs> okay, so did you have fun? I did. This was fun. Oh, I didn't mind the last one, which was the caramel. Salted caramel salted, cupcake. The salted caramel was really buttery, but the cake itself I wasn't a big fan of. Mm -hmm. um, the brownie at the very first over there at the... Um, 10 was probably my favorite the very first one i'm curious at trying that caramel vanilla cake that was in the fridge of the place with the, all the non-dairy stuff oh fo fo is it fomo fomo but you know which fo one fomo. it was our third stop we posted yeah I where mean, that was my favorite that ice cream and the coconut whipped cream oh my god i kind of want a little bit now Are we near there <laughs> so bad it was really good well plus we also found the egg there Okay, so all Donna's been doing since we found the building for the intro of St. Elsewhere is humming the intro. <laughs> but that's kind of good. <laughs> but look, there it is, St. Like, Elysian. Alright, so we found the building for the intro of St. Elsewhere where they would walk into this building right here. That was the hospital. St. Allegius. St. Allegius, that is correct. Uh, I wonder how the intro theme went. I'll tell you. <laughs> there were a lot of do 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 do's in there. Did you hear that? But mm -hmm. the building for this is actually right on our chocolate tour. Yeah. All right, this is Swifty with Victoria and Donna, and that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video, and if you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That's right. Make sure that if you're here in Boston, you definitely want to do one of these tours. Coco <laughs> Bean Town. And if uh, you, you want to find out more information, we'll put the link in the subscription down below. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.